My name is James Van Mater. I'm the Supervisor of Waste Management here in McMurdo Station, Antarctica for the United States Antarctic Program. I supervise here in McMurdo eight to nine people and the waste techs, there's five of them, they work in the barn, actually hands-on dealing with the trash, running the compactors and the grinders and doing some final sorting. I have three equipment operators who drive around town, pick up full dumpsters, and either bring them here for processing or we have an outdoor processing area depending on what category it is. And in the morning we take a town walk, walk around, note down all the full dumpsters, give that list to the equipment operators, and then the techs don't really have to think about their day very much. They just process what the equipment operators bring to them. We recycle a huge percentage of our garbage because we start with you at the very beginning. When you take your trash can out of your dorm room, you're going to sort it into a dozen different trash cans. In those categories we have paper towels, which is things we can crush into a much smaller, tighter bale, so we use less containers, so we use less trucks. It all adds up when you follow the whole the whole route of where all the trash goes. Uh, we have mixed paper, cardboard, plastic, and my crew sorts plastics into ones and twos, threes through sevens, and film, all of which can be recycled. People going out into the field have a much, diff much more difficult time because of the limited amount of space to fly back stuff and just harsher conditions. Living in a tent, it's not as easy to sort your trash as it is living in McMurdo Station. And so we cut them some slack. We have some different processes that they use. If you go to Cape Evans, uh, Cape Royds, so the historic huts of the explorers, you'll see their trash sitting outside. They didn't care about trash at all. They cared about getting home alive. And then in the early days of this station and the South Pole Station, again, the focus was more on making it happen than worrying about the environment. The treaty was 76, I believe, 1976, that really started addressing it. And We've gone from open pit burning, dumping into the ocean, to no burning of trash. We can't even have a fire out of the lumber here. Uh, and all this, you know, focus on re recycling as much as possible. Everything that comes in has to go out, just like when you're backpacking. You know, there's, there's no other options for getting rid of our trash. We can't just stockpile it, can't bury it. So we crush it, we make it take up as little space as possible, and then we ship it home. Once it gets to the U.S., uh, three weeks later, it takes three weeks to get there, my boss and I show up, we unload a lot of the containers on the military base, and then we ferret out all the rest to these small little places around the base. There's a guy who takes all the steel. There's a guy who takes all the lumber. It's really interesting. It's garbage, but it really is interesting to watch how you can get rid of it other than just dumping it somewhere, making a big pile.